Don't you dare take that yogurt. Don't you dare. Stop it. Stop it with the yogurt. Stop it. Stop it. Get away from that yogurt. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more of Supermarket Simulator, where the shelves are looking a teensy bit bare, in that we're sold out of virtually everything. Right, let's get an order going on here. Now, obviously, we're a cereal-based store, so we're going to be stocking up on cereal now that we have two. That's right, two. Two different kinds of cereal. Two, not one. We have two different kinds of cereal, both of them artisanal, handcrafted in the Bavarian forest using ancient techniques. Also, we should probably get some oil. Now, the good news is I got 418 bucks to play with here, so let's get some cake and some different cake. We'll get two kinds of cake right now, I think, yeah. And maybe, maybe a little bit of candy. A little bit of candy would not hurt. Cheese, yep, absolutely, everybody loves some cheese around here. That's right, keep your hands off the cereal there, Chief. It's not on the shelves yet. Yeah, just walk away. Walk away from the cereal. Here's something I never knew. Apparently, you can only order... 10 things at a time. Well, there you go. I've learned something new today. 10 things at a time is the best we can do in here. That's fine. We can get everything stocked up very nicely. Now, let's set some prices on our new stuff here. So we've got these new cakes. So those are costing me 210. Game suggesting 420. How about 449? There we go. Okay. And then my new candy over here looks absolutely disgusting. It looks like some sort of marshmallowy thing. Five bucks for that? Sure. Why not four ninety nine? Everyone loves to get a penny back in change. I've still got some dead space here. I could get some more powdered sugar. That stuff sells very, very well. Even though people have no idea what they're buying. It's not. It's not. Gr There's nobody here. You down there. It's not granulated sugar. Okay. It's powdered sugar. You would use this to make frosting or icing or something like that. This is not what you're supposed to be putting in your coffee. Yes, I'm yelling at you. All right, so let's grab another thing of the powdered sugar and then... Well, I've got dead space. We may as well double down on cereal, and by double I mean triple down on cereal. Pe people keep whining that we don't have pasta, and I'm... Well, I was going to say I'm disinclined to care, but money is money. Let's get a couple of boxes of pasta in here, and all of those things together should round out the shelves nicely. Or at least they will if you actually order it and don't just pretend to order it, Dave. There you go. Hit the purchase button, and that way the guy knows to send the stuff here. Yeah, we're taking a little bit of a hit on the artisanal chocolate cereal, and the price has gone up, and we're only making a couple of bucks in profit. But you know what? I will take a couple of bucks in profit. This is a grocery store. We're on volume here not individual profits. So buck 30 for this, you're saying 408. How about 399 for that? Because I want to fill the world with pennies. I want everyone going home with a penny in their pocket. This is probably about as good as I'm going to get. I've only got 37 bucks left. I should probably open the place. And in my you can only order 10 things debacle here, I forgot to get the eggs. Okay, I'm going to be there in a sec. Just just hold on. I'm, I'm very busy around here. I haven't reached the level where I can actually hire anyone. Hello, have a wonderful cereal day. I see you're getting very slippery and sweet today. All right, that is 1850 to me. Thank you very much. 18 and then the five and then the zero thing. Have a wonderful cereal day. Some bread for you and some of our new cake. Oh God, what are we doing? Change? Okay, um, weird 50 cent piece that nobody has even seen in many, many years. There you go. Okay, you have the ingredients for making pasta. You bought a lot of water, apparently your tap doesn't work at home, and you bought some pasta. I see what you're doing there. Have a wonderful cereal day. Oh my god, dude, seriously. The carbs. I just put on 20 pounds looking at this. Ah, trying the new disgusting candy with some tea and some pasta. You, sir, you have a fascinating day ahead of you. That's four dollars and five and six. Yes, I have to say it out loud. Okay, the bartender is here. Disgusting candy, some oil, and some cake. And you get 50. I don't know where we get these either, sir. I don't know why the bank is even giving these to us. A bottle of water, cake, milk, cereal, bread, more cake, more cake. Easy on the cake there, lady, eh? Just, just one box of powdered sugar? Really? That'll do you? Just that? That's absurd. Oh, hang on. 50, um, I don't know, 90, and then a 5, and then 7? I think that works, lady. Hi, you're getting our new cereal. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming by. Oh, God, I've got to give you 28.96. 
uh, 28 a weird 50 cent piece. That's more like it. All the bread on the planet, disgusting candy, cheese, and handcrafted cereal, sir. I like the way you're going. You, sir, you are going to have a fun, fun night there if I can type in your change correctly there. Or type in your, your amount. Have a wonderful cereal day, sir. I'm sorry, it's very busy. I don't have time to make witty quips with you. Yes, I said quip. No, I know. People don't use that enough anymore. It's a wonderful word. Great Scrabble word, by the way. No, no, you're right, sir. The, the secret word is qua. No, it's a legit word. Yeah, no, no. Q-U-A. Dump it down on a Scrabble game. People will freak out and they'll challenge you, but it's a legit word. No, I know you can do cat. Q-A-T. Yes, I'm, I'm familiar with the Q's without use words. Q-A-T. It's a fantastic Scrabble word. Really easy to put together. If you can dump that down on, like, a triple word or something, you are golden. No, I'm not kidding, lady. Look it up. Q-A-T. Cat. It's a word. Okay, I'm getting, um... I'm getting a little bogged down here, and that the line is actually stretching around around the store right now. I don't actually have time to even go turn the lights on. I'm sorry, I have to. Guys, it's getting real dark in here. I gotta turn the lights on. I'll be right back to you right now. Here we go. Okay, you, sir, you're obviously going to a wedding, and it's a wedding that features oil. Fantastic. Uh, what did you... What did you give me? Uh, that and... I can't even pay attention to you anymore, sir. I've really got to get to the point where I'm hiring somebody around here. Uh, you, you bought those things, and then you need that thing. Okay, and you, wow, you look like you've had a really bad day. Wow. It's it's a Tuesday, isn't it? That just did not work out for you, did it? Milk and cheese, wow, going dairy extreme here. Uh, what do you need? Four and fifty... Six. Uh, yes, I have to say it out loud. I'm thinking about Scrabble words now. Box of tea for you, and you need a dollar and a penny. Thank you so much. I, I can't even with this. I can't even get the place. 4760? Are you serious, man? Are you 47? Okay, uh, 20, 40, 5, 7, weird 50 cent piece, and then that thing. Wow. Okay, um, literally... Literally, I think you bought me out, sir. I don't think there's actually anything left in the store right now. Uh, thirteen fifty-four to me. Thank you. Have a wonderful cereal. I'm sorry, I'm very busy, sir. Wonderful cereal day there. Have a wonderful... Oh, God. All right, the twins are here. One of them is getting a bottle of water for a whole dollar ninety-nine. Hey, you know what? Money is money. It's about volume around here. And you're getting the powdered sugar. Okay, and what, what did you get? Did you give me a card? I think you gave me a card. Uh, it seems like you gave me a card. Have a wonderful cereal day. You've got powdered sugar and cereal, and you need money back. 20, 30, 5, 25, 45. Have a wonderful cereal day. Carton of milk for you. What do you need? Nothing at all. Thank God. Have a wonderful cereal day. Wonderful. Wonderful cereal day, ma'am. I'm very tired. Okay, have a, have a wonderful, have a wonderful cereal day, sir. Oh my God. Okay. That happened. I I don't have a lot of anything left. Wow, people are really just not buying the coffee right now. 801. Okay, let's lower this to maybe 11, 10 bucks. How about 10.99 for this? All right, not much in the way of profit there for a bag of coffee, but nobody bought any. We're sold out of, well, everything else but coffee, basically. I've got a couple of things I can re- Wow couple of things I can... I've got to hire somebody. couple of things I could restock with here. Pretty darn good day, though. Profit 223, and we made 600. Uh, bottled water price is down, milk is down, and cereal is down. Oh, hello. That, that That's my core audience right there. Well, what do I desperately need? The new cereal, bread, oil, powdered sugar, are desperates right now. Cheese. Probably some eggs. You know what? I could put a small thing of yogurt in there to mix it up a little bit. It's all basically breakfast. I see the disgusting candy sold out too, so let's get that restocked down here. Restocked down there. There we go. Wow, it just looks awful. I can't imagine anyone wanting to put that in their mouth. I mean, that's one of the candies you're going to get at Halloween and go, no. Let's put the yogurt in the most inconvenient place on the bottom shelf so people really have to work hard to get their yogurt. All right, that's all stocked up. Remember to set the price on that, Dave, before you go ahead and open the store. Uh, what have I got here? Oh, yeah, the new cakes. All right, let's get those in there. All right, what am I missing? Another thing of cereal would be good. Bread. Definitely need bread. And then probably one more thing of cheese. One milk, one cheese, two bread, 
one cereal and just leave the rest of the milk at room temperature on the floor there. Before we go much further, let me just check out some things here, like hiring. I can get a cashier now. Daily wage of 80 and 100 to hire them. Okay, 80. My profit yesterday was only 200 bucks. And this cashier is going to cost me almost half of that. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. But boy, would I love to have somebody working here who isn't me, frankly. I could also look into storage at some point if I can ever put together 800 bucks. What's in, uh, what's in growth? Yeah, more, more sections I could get. 750 bucks will open up the store a little bit more. I don't think I really need that. That's, we've got plenty of space. Space is not my issue. Could look into a new license and get some different products, though. What would go well with this place? Orange juice, yeah, that would be good. Soda, apple juice, a whole bunch of things I could put in a new fridge. Dishwasher tablets, the kids do love those. They look just like candy. Here's my plan. I'm just going to get through today and see what the money looks like. I'm stocked up. Everything is looking good. And I've got a couple of spares down here. Again, milk at room temperature. That'll be fine. Everyone everyone loves lukewarm milk. It just goes down like candy. But everything else is nicely stocked up. Let me see what kind of money I can make today. Do I think I've got enough to have an employee here? Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. I haven't set the price on it. No, don't you dare take that yogurt. Don't you dare. Stop it. Stop it with the yogurt. Stop it. Stop it. Get away from that yogurt. That's basically free now. Look at it. He's cleaning me out. He's cleaning me out. I know I'm setting a product without the price. Uh, two bucks. Okay, sure. $1.99. Those people basically got free yogurt. I hate all of you. Oh, Jay-Z's back. Welcome back, Jay-Z. Yeah, thank you for your free yogurt here. Ugh, 34 cents, a uh, 25, 30, and then the penny thing. Ugh, and you, you. Oh, you didn't actually buy yogurt. You bought oil instead. Have a wonderful cereal slippery day, sir. Look out, the feds are back. The feds are back for their bread and cheese. Okay, no, nothing to see here, officer. I will be happy to take your uh, federally governmental FBI credit card here thing and have a wonderful cereal day, sir. Nothing to see here. And people are whining a little bit about our new cereal, saying it's a little bit too expensive. I'll have a peek at that, but after the free yogurt, I'm... Wow, lady. I'm inclined to let the price just, wow, lady, I'm inclined to let the price just stay as it is. Like, buy it or don't. That's kind of the whole point of retail. If you don't like it, go somewhere else. Oh, guess what? There is nowhere else. Yeah, that's right. The, the yogurt costs money now, sir. I'm sorry. I know I know the other guy said it was free. I know. No, he was, he was marching down the street saying, hey, free yogurt at the artisanal cereal store. No, it actually costs money now, sir. Here, add your cake, and what are we getting here? $38.90 for me. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful cereal day. Sorry about the yogurt. Nothing else I can get you there, sir, huh? Nothing at all. I see you're buying some coffee. Maybe lowering the price there helped a little bit. You're, spend you're spending 51 bucks. 51 bucks. I got a good feeling about that. Have a wonderful cereal day, sir. I have a good feeling. This stuff is disgusting, sir. No, it's wicked gross. It's like this sort of hard marshmallow thing. Oh, you ain't gonna like this. I got a good feeling about the end of the day. I think we're coming up with a degree of profit and more importantly, a degree of money on a daily basis where I could be hiring somebody else. 5.30 in the evening, we're already sold out of oil. Somebody's having a party in town and I have sadly not been invited, which makes me very sad because there ain't no party like a cooking oil party. That's what I've always said. It is too, which is weird because I don't really know where I came up with that, but all my life I've been saying that. Are we going to break a thousand dollars for the day? That would be astounding. I mean, I, I had a pretty decent surplus when I came into the day, but I think we're going to crack 1k on the old register here. 24 94 thank you very much. Now, I need you to buy like seven dollars and like a quarter or something. Uh, what are you getting? Oh yeah, that'll do the trick right there. Okay, let's wrap this up, lady. It's nine o'clock at night and I am very... Very tired. Have a, have a wonderful, have a wonderful, I got it. Do you want a job, lady? Okay, shut this place down. Shut this place down. I got almost 1,200 bucks in my pocket right now. Sold out on many, many things. Okay, the coffee did finally sell a little bit. Bread is gone. All that candy and cake is completely gone. Oil is gone. Wow. All right, pasta gone. 
many, all the bottles of water are gone. Okay, let me do a quick restock with what I've got on hand, and then we'll reevaluate from there. Yeah, that was almost 600 bucks in profit. That ain't nothing. I think we can definitely, definitely afford to hire somebody. Price on oil is down. That's cool. That's great. That's fantastic. I am going to hire somebody. So management, hiring, hire you. Okay, it doesn't really give me any specifics of who I hi I'm hiring and for how long. I I would guess they're going to work here the whole day, right? Okay, I, I own an employee now. Oh, you're already here. Wow, good initiative there, man. Good initiative. We're not actually open. I know you're just a cashier. If you wanted to help come grab some boxes, that would um that would indicate to me that you really want this job and you're 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 looking to impress me by you're not you're just gonna stand there, aren't you? You you're gonna watch me unload all of these boxes. Like, nah, dude, I was hired as a cashier. I don't care if you're not open. I'm gonna stand here and be a cashier. So as the customers are leaving, you say, have a wonderful cereal day. It's a it's a branding thing that we do around here. We're very focused on cereal, artisanal cereal handcrafted in the Bavarian forest. Feel free to tell the customers that. They love that sort of thing. So as they're leaving, like, let's, okay, let's do a little role, role play on your first day, okay? So I'm a customer and I bought this box and I walk away and you say, you say what? You, I'm walking out the door. I bought my box. I'm very thrilled with my purchase. And you say, you say, it's have a wonderful cereal day. You say, have a wonderful cereal day. Okay, I'm not completely stocked up yet. I've still got some stuff to order, but I see how this all works with my man here who's just staring dead-eyed into the void, but seems real keen on things. So I'm going to open up. This is it. This is it. This is your moment. Wow. So I need eggs and I guess milk. Maybe there's, is there something else, something new I could be ordering in here that would go in the fridge? The answer is kind of not really. So I'll get a thing of eggs and a thing of milk. Now, I've still got 600 almost $700 kicking around here. This, this is fantastic. Of course, my man's going to cost me some money every day, but I think we can make that up. I'd like to look at maybe a new license, get some new fresh stuff coming in here. Oh, I should get some powdered sugar as well. But this is great. I can keep going about my business here, and Sparky at the register is just going to take care of, well, I assume everything else okay um this milk yeah i know it's gonna sit at room temperature chief but that's fine let me see how you work here chief how are you, you you doing your things takes you a little while doesn't it i'm a little bit faster on the register aren't i wow just one at a time there huh one at one at a time no uh no impetus to move any faster than that huh Ah, not for 80 bucks a day. I could see that. Have a wonderful cereal day, sir. You see how that works? I'm going to add flour into the mix, if only because we don't sell it. We may as well be putting something on the shelves. As an old retail district manager once said to me, we don't sell space. He was very adamant about not selling space. If there's an empty space, put something on it and sell it. I've got plenty of powdered sugar, so I can just restock those as the day. Nobody buy the flour. I got to run in and set the price. Don't buy any flour. Nope, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh, you're just getting oil. Fantastic. Wow, this only cost me 68 cents. All right, I'll give you... You know what? I'm going to be fair with this one. $2.99 on the bag of flour there. I need more oil. I need more. I need pasta. I don't have any pasta right now. But this is working out real good. My man here is just doing his thing. And I'm going out doing important things like managerial type stuff. Well, mostly I'm a stock boy. Oh, hang on. I've got a box of pasta. Got a box of pasta right here. Don't worry. Pasta is all set, lady. You need some pasta. All right. I kind of just threw, threw that pasta through your body. I'm very sorry. I didn't realize you were non-corporeal. Have a wonderful cereal day, sir. You see, do you see how that cheers everyone up? It's a branding thing. They're going to leave and go, the cereal store, where we have a wonderful cereal day. See, this lady's actually buying cereal, artisanal cereal, handcrafted. Have a wonderful cereal day, ma'am. I'm getting cleaned out on bread here, but that's fine. I can take some time to go and reorder some bread while I'm standing here. And my man is doing all the important work. I may as well just get two. It's not like I'm not going to use it at some point. Oh, wow. He must have really needed the job. Look at his vest. There's so many holes in it. Oh, uh, he probably wears a jacket to cover that up. I feel bad now that I was yelling at him. And I can just keep ordering and restocking all day. Oh, I'm liking this employee thing. I think we got him covered for his salary. I don't think that's going to be a problem at all. We must have 
We're up to 1132 right now. I think I can cover his 80 bucks. Hopefully he'll buy a new vest with that. I mean, I suppose I should just get him like a company uniform or something, and then he wouldn't have to worry about what he's going to wear every day. But I don't know. I like my employees to be able to express themselves through their clothing. Well, let's close the place up here. Yeah, no, you did good, man. You did good. You're a little slow. But, you know, it was your first day, and you, you didn't use the branding phrase. You didn't use our little tagline when people were le have a wonderful cereal day. You know what I will do? I will write that down on a, have a wonderful cereal day, sir. I will write that down on a post-it note and put that right at the register here. And I'll put like a big smiley face underneath it. So you know that I'm not like barking down your snorkel or anything. I'm just trying to help you be a better employee so that we make more money and I can pay your salary and then you can buy a new vest. And that guy, have a wonderful cereal day, sir. That guy leaving was whining about not having chocolate bars, which is, Kind of what I was thinking. You know what I'd love to do? I'd love to set up like an impulse rack where like the candy and the cakes and all of that stuff live and then use this over here for more important things like cereal. I'm just going to do some real quick restocking while we're wrapping up the last customer here. So let me get that in there. Put that, 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 that down there. What else have I got over here? I got some bread. I can put that back up. Excuse me. Yeah, if you could kind of wrap it up, sir. I, I, I'm pretty sure I pay this guy overtime. If you could kind of... Yeah, are you a little stuck, sir? It's flour and oil, dude. It's not that complicated. Yeah, I think we're going to do fine having an employee here. 276 up on profit. So the cereal price went down. The bottled water price went up. Okay, went up to what exactly? I, I don't pay attention to these things. Ooh, 80 cents. You know what? I think a buck nine buck 99 is fine. It's a bottle of water. I'm not looking to make a killing on a bottle of water. I need cheese, eggs. You know, could you help out by just writing stuff down for me, please? Oh, God. Okay, with 1186 in my pocket right now, what what could I be doing here? Are there any different shelves? Not as... Oh, there's a small rack. I wonder what goes on the small rack. Hopefully things that go on the shelf. I'm going to get one. i get one of these. All right, I'm ordering a small rack not going to get any of the, the food yet. I want to kind of see how this all plays out here. So go to, where's my small rack? All right, one small rack, please. So I'd love to have this live sort of like this. Where, where do you live? Why, why can't you live there? Why can't you live anywhere? Why can't you, what, what is going on here? What is, what is this? I, this is for storage, isn't it, Dave? This is for storage. You put, you got the wrong thing. You can clearly see that sort of thing is for storage. Can I get my full money back on this? Can I, if I, if I sell this, do I get my, I got a hundred bucks. Well, um, that was a hundred bucks I lost. You cost me 80. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you should have known that immediately, Dave. She said, that's probably for storage a rack like that. What I'd like to do is set this up sort of here as an impulse area. So give me that. Does that line up? Yeah, actually that's, oh, that looks terrible. That looks absolutely terrible like that. I hate everything that I just did there. Um, I, I know this has got to get moved. Uh, how about over here? How about against the wall sort of in this, this neighborhood? Now I can't box those things up until I get boxes. I need the right size box for that. Okay, what have I got left? 882. And I'm sold out of powdered sugar, pasta, cereal. Okay, yeah, no, it's going to be a while before we get open, dude. I don't know why you come in this early. I told you to come in when we open. So I got the chocolate things, the chocolate bars here, because it's pretty much the only thing I'm not selling at this point. And I'm going to start to make this candy and cakes and stuff like that. And then as these sell out, I just won't restock them over there. Now I do have, actually, I say that, I've got candies and cakes and stuff. What if I, what if I did something extraordinary? Like take them out of here. Oh, this is, this is genius. And then refill them. So move these over to here. Oh, I am basically a genius. I've got a little bit of extras of all of those too. So I may as well just stock the shelves up. Again, we... We don't sell space over here. Of course, that leaves me a ton of dead space on my original shelves. So let me get the candy. You know what? That's too much candy, especially 
terrible candy. I'll come back to that later. Um, pasta. We could get another row of pasta. I'd be okay with that. That seems to sell fairly well. And then I've got like a couple of shelves of nothing. Is there anything at all? that I have access to that I haven't ordered. And that would be a no. We are actually selling everything that we have access to. So I'm just getting some last minute restocking done. In fact, there's no reason we can't be opening. So we'll get Sparky here on the register. He's been on the register since early this morning. I'm not really sure why he comes in this early. I told him not to, but he just won't listen. Oh God, I forgot to set the price of the chocolate. Oh, these people are just walking away with it. Oh. Really, Dave, just try to do that before you open. There you go. Now it actually costs money. All of those people effectively got free chocolate. All right, well, let's order some more chocolate then. Actually, you know, I say that out loud. Yes, we'll order some more chocolate. We'll definitely do that. What could we do in terms of, say, getting new stuff around here? So licenses. I can afford some of these things. Some of these things. Probably not the bleach. But orange juice soda, see, then I'd need another fridge. What else could I get? I could almost, by the end of the day, I'd be able to afford way more cheese than I currently have now. Or I can get into more pasta, more rice, peanut butter, stuff like that. That's all pretty good. I was kind of hoping for something more in my candy corner there. I'm going to buy this. Yeah, we're buying this. Yep, I just bought that. I just spent a lot of money. Well, let's get some stuff then. So let's get two things to the chocolate bars because I just gave half of them away. Peanut butter. Okay, that's a sensible thing to have. And then what else? Olive oil. Good. So if you don't want to get all slippery with the vegetable oil, you can get the olive oil. Is, is olive a vegetable or a fruit? It's a whole thing about where the seed is. Anyway, I've got two different types of oil right now. Now, if I were a smart man, I'd wait until we actually closed before I put this oil up because be, as soon as I get this on the shelf, somebody's going to grab it at cost. But if you were looking for someone smart to be playing this, well, you wouldn't really be on this channel, would you? All right, hustle in, hustle in, hustle in. Get the oil before somebody buys it. Okay, $2.99. How about uh, $5.99 for that? $3 profit. That's not bad at all. Uh, peanut butter. Well, that could basically live underneath the tea, I guess. I don't really have anywhere else to put it. And people are whining about the price of eggs. Okay, well, what is the problem here? 306. All right, they are a little bit pricey, I guess. How about 399 for those? That better? Get your hands off the peanut butter. I'm very, very busy. I'm trying to set the price on. Oh, somebody already grabbed it. Somebody already grabbed it. Uh, 295 to me. How about 549? How about 549 on that? Okay, that should be the new things done. And I did get some more chocolate bars, too, because those seem to be selling very, very well, even at an actual price instead of giving them away for free. And now all I do is spend my day restocking while Sparky over there mans the register. This is a great gig. I am all in favor of this whole... Ha Excuse me, I'm trying to restock the yogurt, sir. See, could you... Move, move your butt, man. Come on, let's go. This is great. I'm all in favor of this having an employee thing. This is working out really, really good for me. What, you can't reach behind you and turn the lights on? There you go. Wow, you are... I gotta kind of micromanage you. Don't, you can, couldn't even manage the light switch, dude. You couldn't even manage the light switch in this place. No, I don't know either, man. It's a 50 cent piece. I know I haven't seen one in years. I honestly am not sure I ever have seen one. I'm just vaguely sure that they exist because I, I feel like that's something that should exist. Now I've never seen one in my life now that, I say, now that I say it out loud. I don't think I've ever seen a 50 cent piece. I don't know why the register is full of them. I think we have the entire country's supply. No, I'm sorry, sir. Ah, oh, jeez. We were just closing, sir. Just closed. The candy is too expensive for you. Well, that's because that's oil. That's If that's candy to you, you have a far different lifestyle than I anticipated. That's not, that's not, the candy's over in the candy shelf now. Because I put sort of an impulse purchase thing even though it's nowhere near the register and you really wouldn't be wouldn't be that impulsive if you bought that. You'd actually have to deliberately walk over here and select an item and then come back to the register. Yes, traditionally, the impulse items are right here, but it looked kind of stupid. You can go home for the day, Chief. Guys, that's probably an excellent place to call it on Supermarket Simulator for today. I think we're doing great. This employee thing is working out fine. Got no problems paying for him. Stock is coming in. I'm getting things stocked up. We've got peanut butter now. We've got oil. We've got a very exciting party if you want to attend that kind of function. Guys, do please let me know in the comments what you're thinking of this. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. 
it does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. You know what, kids? I'm the camp counselor who's going to teach you the truth. All right? None of this man be pan be kumbaya nonsense. All right? We are learning the truth here. The truth is death and disappointment and theft. Basically, I did the theft. Everything else is on you. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I don't... I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. So once again, the fish are on fire. And uh, you're on fire. Isabella is in fact on fire. The YouTube award ceremony for the best YouTubers of the time. I think this may be a mild exaggeration. I look like I'm paralyzed with fear and or hunger up on stage there.